sack on this particular project. Uh, traditional lime washing, we, we do a lot of traditional lime washing as well. Uh, all these, generally all these remote buildings uh, were lime washed. And this was aimed at uh, the Department's Environment, Water, and Natural Resources uh, park rangers as well. And it's important that we, we also teach the, the rangers who maintain these buildings um, the appropriate use of materials as well. <coughs> curing processes, that's important. Do you, do you know about lime waters, uh, the curing process? And you can see uh, the, the finished section there on that, on that building uh, and the group of um, participants. 2011 and 12, this was over actually two or three courses. Um, I don't know if you have been down to the York Peninsula, down at the bottom there, that's an international park. Um, this was at the village there, and uh, we restored the post office, uh, bakery, Mallee Lodge, all, all uh, uh, with no reason at the time, and uh, we've actually uh, got these up over again and now they're rented out as holiday accommodation. So that, that uh, generates revenue back to the government, which is a good thing. Peter Wells is the uh, Principal Conservation Officer for um, the Departments of Environment and Water and Natural Resources, and he attended one of these six-day courses as well. So it's good that the uh, you know professionals are coming on board. Uh, Peter Larkin, who's the CEO of uh, CITB. There's the restored post office. Uh, not use restored buildings with post offices done over the time. There's a uh, post office restored there. And then we're a bit more greedy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> also, we do uh, indigenous uh, programs as well. Learn um, about it. Um, this is just the basic, uh, you know, uh, showing how to construct. So we don't we don't get a lot of uh, indigenous students on this. You know, even if you get a handful of students, it's you know it, it helps and uh, it's good working with the uh, the local community as well. And with the indigenous programs, we've got we've gone as far as uh, New South Wales, Real Canyon. It was a big operation we did four years ago um, on the uh, original township, which which is uh, alongside the uh, River Darling, and and we're still there today. You know, we we come in and out of uh, Real Canyon. So this is what the, the guys have done, they've had just a basic construction of a, of a wall. Um, all the materials were sourced locally, um, and they supplied all the sand, and we just supplied the, the line for them. So that was about a, a five day course, but with the travelling and everything, it's, it's a turnaround for around 10 days. Uh, stone bankery, uh, carving course, uh, that was held at um, uh, Edwardstown, our workshop. And, and this is a, this is a course on generally it's at di diploma level now in the UK uh, stone bankering, um, and it's an important part of stone masonry. Uh, it's not all about fixing stone; it's about learning how to carve and profile stone. So learn how to make their, their templates uh, depending on the profile. Um, they, they, they've got to understand that there's only a two to three millimeters of tolerance in any profile in a stone. Um, so the, we do the basic techniques of profiling. Bill Waste of Construction Guys uh, from local schools. So this was a fairly large course, there was about 40 or 50 jury on this particular course, I think. Um, Martindale Hall Coach House. Uh, that's not the Coach House, but the Coach House is uh, just as elaborate as that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this was uh, timber conservation, lime water technology, and stone cleaning techniques, and also lime washing were addressed on this one. So the Coach House should be coming up shortly. An absolutely beautiful building. Just a wee coach, isn't it? And uh, this is the uh, uh, stone cleaning technology which used the Yoss machine from Europe, which has been around for uh, 30 years in Europe. Only introduced in, in Australia seven years ago. And has uh, been used to clean many buildings along the North Terrace in, in Adelaide. And now in operation in, in New South Wales as well. <coughs> so I think you've seen a, a photograph previous to that where I there's the lime washing complete internally. Uh, we did a lot of timber conservation on that. John Knox Church, one of the oldest churches uh, in Adelaide, uh, Norfolk Vale, would you believe, uh, on a heritage listed street. And um, this was in a, a, a shocking state, this particular church. And uh, a developer uh, bought the building and it's going to convert it into a, a childcare centre. 
So uh, we use it as a CITP ABCT course um, over five days. And it was rebuilding all the parapet warding, uh, reinstating all the box cutters because they're all rotted out. A um, lot of timber conservation work, uh, replacing all the internal brackets to the roof and trusses. Um, it was aimed at uh, doorways to constructions, um, professionals and uh, tradespeople. So it was an interesting course, this one, and also blacksmithing. Uh, this is the first one we, we did blacksmithing as well. So with the, with the blacksmithing, we, we made all the, the grills to the windows and also made uh, masonry chinches as well, um, so the lads could use them on, on the courses. <coughs> and it's been subject to you know, terrible vandalism over the years. But, uh, you can see the blacksmith in there uh, forming the grills. These are all portable forges as well, so we can take these anywhere uh, throughout uh, remote or regional areas. And uh, we've got about three, three or four forges. And we, we use the um, uh, Blacksmithing Association in, in South Australia to help us with the and um, show uh, tradespeople how to do that. This is Morgan Railway Station in the Riverland. Uh, this is uh, with the council, the Murray Council. Uh, we all also do uh, bespoke courses um, and uh, three or five day courses for the councils and homeowners as well. <coughs> so this is a uh, solid rendering uh, internally. Uh, again, uh, this building was painted with acrylic paint we, we see also often. Uh, several layers of acrylic paint. So this one we used, uh, we used as a course for paint stripping, um, line technology, to be introduced on this one as well, which also the dying trade these days. <coughs> You've just seen the photo there, repairing black and plaster. We've done uh, quite a large uh, uh, course on that uh, in Barry actually, um, replacing all the ceilings in, in the uh, Cotton Co residence there in, in black and plaster. So that was a six day course, and uh, these are all the, the local trades, uh, trades people from the Riverland. So what we try and do with all these courses is target all the local tradespeople in them particular areas. So we've been as far as uh, um, Dalhousie, you'll see some photographs shortly, um, right across to uh, Mid North, um, Peterborough, um, and also we've got some interest in Kangaroo Island as well at the moment. But with this one we also did live traditional live burning. Um, it's also important to get across to participants how lime water was manufactured, how lime was manufactured. Uh, so we, do, we go through a lime, lime burning process with uh, building our own kilns, and, uh, and it's, uh, you know, 12, we can actually burn lime within 12 hours. Uh, this is a one day bespoke course for uh, Uncle Prigger Council, again out the uh, builders, own homeowners and architects. Uh, this was a course um, for undersetting, uh, salt damp injection, and uh, repointing techniques as well. And that these courses aimed at homeowners, it, it's good that it's aimed at guys who have got you know, period homes, home period homes. Um, we, we get a lot of women on this on these bespoke courses for the one day courses. Uh, that was rendering the internal, um, external donor, uh, which was. Um, and the, and the mixing of lime water is also important. So they the learn how to gauge um, the correct mixes to use. Um, there's a couple of limes you use, traditional limes, which is hydraulic and non-hydraulic. <coughs> Dalhousie Ruins, far north of South Australia. I don't know how many of you have been to Dalhousie Springs. Beautiful location, very remote. Um, a lot of the buildings out there, the, the ruins are uh, you know, down to just the footprints. 